which one of those like can you tell me which one did you like which one kind of stands out as like a favorite? i like this seashore one it was really fun because like they gave you a bucket and you go and like you were look we, we found like a starfish and uh, it was like laying at the bottom of the ocean and like we also we found a lot of minnows and stuff uh well you just find like shells and stuff and you bring them to your teacher and you get points for a cabin. Just pick up whatever's living and yeah. moving and yeah. bring it up. So. If it's alive, pick it up. Yeah, I found an alive sea star. It was all purple. And it was really cool because he stuck to my hand a lot. And it was a lot of fun because yeah. we actually got to apply the stuff we learned in science. Yeah. Oh, I named a cool. crab. His name's Henry. But Henry <laughs> left me. So. Henry left. We found a A blind hike. Yeah, tell me about that. What it's a trust. That? It's a trust activity where you and your partner you blindfold each other, mm -hmm. and then you have to guide the other person through the woods. And then your partner like guides you through the woods, and you have to like step over stuff. And there's a part, yeah, like like, like fallen logs and benches and things like that. And when we got to the beach. That was another story because Sarah had to find me. Had, we went across the beach and she had to find scary. me. And like as that happens, your like other senses um, start to like sharpen. But like the really cool thing is like you build like this sort of trust with the partner, mm -hmm. and it's like someone in your cabin. So you like you sort of begin to know them like a little bit better and trust them more. And it's just it's a really cool experience. It kind of it kind of like it builds trust with the person that you were with partners with like mm -hmm. it kind of I guess in a way makes it somewhat of a better friendship
try pen Interesting. Gnarly. Beachy. Exciting. Sandy. A great experience. Fun. Still sandy. Active. Steve Tito. I'm telling you it's sandy. Which which did you like? Which was a favorite? Orienteering. Orienteering, yeah. Orienteering? Yeah. You like that? T so tell me about that. What do you do? Uh, so what you do is you take the GPS and you go to random coordinates all over Henlopen. There's minis, um, uh, majors, megas, and the gr amazing race. You you pick one of those and then you um, get the clipboard with the first coordinate on it. You plug it into the GPS and you find that stake. Right. No. And this that stake has the next coordinate on it. I did uh, a major and a mini. Wow. How'd you do? I did good. Come with me now. Come with me now. Four miles because four miles? yeah, I like yeah. four miles better. Where do you go? What do you do? Um, well, our group when we first went, we went to the tower, and it was just really cool to see like all around us, like the Delaware Bay, and then, and then they could like triangulate the area or where the boat was so they could figure out how far they had to shoot to hit it. And then we uh, we went to um, Battery Five One Nine. Yeah, 19. 19. yeah, and that was pretty cool because it was just like some of the history and like there was the big guns and everything. Cool.
How did you like Henlopen? It was really fun. How did you like Henlopen? It was fantastic. Great experience. I loved it. I didn't want to tell you. How did you like Henlopen? <laughs>